Let's learn how to delete a branch inside of GitHub. To do this, we first need to navigate to the view all branches place. You can do that by either clicking this drop down and going to view all branches or by clicking on the button, the five branches that we have right here. From here, you'll get to see a list of all of the branches that you have. This will show you your default branch, which you cannot delete. You have to change your default branch to some other branch before you can actually delete. And you can show all of the branches that you own as well as all of the active branches that are available in the repository. To delete a branch, all we do is find the branch that we want to delete, go over to this trash can button and click on it. From here, this is completely destructive. So now that branch will no longer exist inside the repository. While we're on this page, we can actually undo and restore that branch to what it was before we deleted it. However, as soon as we refresh the page, you'll notice that that branch is completely gone and we can't recover it again. Now, I have a couple other branches here to show you what happens when you try to delete one that has commits or that has an open pull request. So here we have some branch, no PR. This is basically a branch that has one commit and it's ahead of the main default branch by one commit. And if we delete it, it just lets us delete it. Then when we refresh, you can see that that branch no longer exists. Now we had committed changes inside of that branch, but they are completely gone. So just be wary if you have an open branch that has committed changes to it, but you haven't opened a pull request into a default branch, then those changes will completely disappear if you were to delete that branch. Now let's see what happens when we actually have a pull request currently open. This branch says some branch with commits. And if I click on the delete branch button, it will actually pull up a pop-up saying, hey, are you sure you want to delete this? We have an open pull request already in this repository. If we were to delete this before we merged in those changes, we're going to lose those changes. So it's just telling you, hey, this pull request will be closed automatically if we delete this branch. Let's go ahead and delete it and see what happens. So now that we have it deleted, let's scroll up and go to our pull requests. You'll see we have no open pull requests, but if we check the closed ones, we can see that update app.java has been closed and it's because we deleted the branch. Since we did open up a pull request, we can actually restore this branch if we wanted to come back to it later. The last one that I wanna show you is trying to delete a default branch. You can see that we have this default branch here and it's said to be default. So all of the other branches are behind or ahead a certain number of commits. So if we click on this delete branch button, you see it pulls up a pop-up that says you can't delete the default branch. We have to actually change it first. So to change it, let's go to settings and then we'll scroll down the, under general and see that we have this default branch. From here, we can hit this switch to another branch button and it pulls up this pop-up where we can hit this drop down and then select the branch that we want to name our default branch. Then when we hit update, we'll get another warning saying, hey, are you sure you want to update this? We'll say yes. Now that we've updated the default branch to the main branch, if we go back to our all branches page, we can see that we now have this default branch and we can click delete branch. It deletes the branch just like all the other ones that we've shown today. And if we go ahead and refresh, you can see that that branch is now gone. That is how you delete a branch inside of the GitHub platform.